Sports is brought to you by All Out Auto Repair, home of the $46 Saskatchewan and $66 Alberta Safety Inspection. Your complete automotive repair. Well, Moses, it seems like high school football just wrapped up not that long ago, but the Lloyd Comp Barons are already starting training for their spring camp. Seems like it's a 24-7 thing, <laughs> three, six, five days a year. Well, for the coaches and players, too, it's certainly uh, definitely a great time starting up with the spring camp. Mm -hmm. The Lloyd Comp Barons began this week with the spring camp. It was a chance for players and coaches to get ready for the season. We're just waiting for a big year ahead, and, and we think we, we have uh, enough guys out here that we can uh, challenge uh, for league and provincials. That's what our, our goal is. You, you don't come in here to, to win some games. You come in to win the whole thing. Matt Fisher remembers the time when he played for the Barons. Now he's back as the defensive coordinator. Just three days into the spring camp, he likes what he sees from the defense. A lot of size here, which is always good. As soon as you're a defensive guy, you like seeing the big guys out. Um, small guys, they're athletic, they know how to move, they, they know where to get, and that's what we're here to teach them, is get them in the right positions, they're going to make the plays. We're going to get into more philosophies once the season starts. These two weeks is a, a lot of practice, um, a lot of reps, a lot of the guys know the stuff, but it's just for the young kids who, who've never played before, we really get to, to learn the game of football. Linebacker Dana Johnson was one of those kids starting out in the sport just a year ago, and now the grade 10 student is imparting some wisdom on the younger crop of players. Always good to get these young guys out here and kind of just get them new to the game. Like I was new to the game last year, and it's always just good to get those reps in and get to know the game better, so you can prepare better prepare yourself for the season. Without the spring camp, when I played here, we didn't have spring camp really. We we went and then all of a sudden uh, the su the fall came, and, and you're here and you're ready to go, but you you didn't have that whole summer thinking about football. Or this at least gives them um, a couple more months that they, they can think about football, gets their head back in it. Should I work out? Should I run? Um, should I keep in shape just so I can keep going? All right, well, let's move on to another story involving the Barons uh, a little bit. We'll talk about another player who certainly made name or a name for himself and is going to a CIS university. When I got the email, I thought, well, thought I was back for this be football guys, the 60 guys, you know, I thought, and then walk in, there's big room for 2,000 people. I was just unbelievable. Another Lloydminster native has made the jump to the CIS, and you know what? Not too far either. Hard-hitting defensive tackle Chris Edsvik will join the U of S Huskies, a 6'3", 255-pound D lineman. Says he wanted to play for a school that was passionate about their team. University football high. really serious down there. They don't have a Rough Riders team there. They got everybody goes to their games when they play U of S. So it's just crazy. They got fireworks for every game, just like CFL. It's, it's great, and the school is just phenomenal. Well, congratulations to him, and well-deserved. Now, moving on to some North Saskatchewan River Baseball League action. Kicking it off tonight, the Lloydminster Juniors and the Midwest Expos Legion Ballpark. 6.30 first pitch. Should be a great one. Let's move on to another sporting event that's taking place here in the great city. Rugby. Saskatoon Badgers, Lloydminster Reapers, men's action. This should be a good one at ES Laird School, 7 p.m. One of the biggest goals for a young football player here in Canada is to one day get a scholarship and play in the CIS. And on this week's Superstar Next Door, Matt Schumann introduces us to a new Saskatchewan Husky. Originally a hockey player, Drew Beckson made the switch to football in grade 6. Not knowing much about the sport, he was put in the running back position and was awarded with a high school championship in his grade 12 year. I um, kind of knew that this was it, so all of us grade 12 just came together on them, the rookies, and we just made a team and went for it and ended up getting there and won. Drew has become one of the best high school running backs in the province, earning many individual awards. I've won league MVP uh, grade 11 and 12. I won league offensive MVP grade 11 and 12. Um, I went to Bantam Bowl in, after Bantam and I got selected to Senior Bowl uh, this year. Drew's coach has seen a star player grow into one of the finest players he has ever coached. I think his determination, he, he decided early on that he wanted to be a football player. He decided that you know, he wanted to play at the next level. Uh, so he got in the weight room, he, he studied football, he understands the game. And uh, just that determination to, to play hard for his high school team and then get that opportunity to move on, I think, uh, is what drove him to, you know, where, he, where he's headed. Recently, Hard Drew was recruited by one of the Drew top Beckson. teams in the CIS, the Saskatchewan Huskies. Knowing it's going to be a big challenge, Drew says he will do whatever it takes to make a name for himself. I'm ex expecting to go.
go in and do everything I can, work as hard as I can, and whatever the coaches uh, want me to do, I'm just going to go in and do it, no questions asked. Matt Schumont, New Cap Sports. Superstar Next Door is brought to you by your local BRP dealers, Power Merchants of St. Paul, North Sask of North Battleford, and Rack Tech Power Products of Lloydminster. And that's all the time we have for sports. Stick around for more news and weather after the break. <laughs>